Hello and welcome back to my channel. My name is Adriana Masako and today we're going to be decluttering and organizing some toys and books. So if you've got some toys and books, you would see how I arrange mine. Before we go into that, I'd like to share with you some tips on cleaning. Uh, we can't organize without doing some cleaning first. So if you're going to be cleaning, my advice would be always start from top to bottom and from left to right. Doing it this way, you will be doing it simultaneously and this would make sure that your dust is going from top to bottom and if you're going from left to right, you would always make sure you're not missing any areas when you're cleaning. So if you've been watching any of my videos and you've learned something, you've seen something you like, feel free to click the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and also do share. So without further ado, let's get into our I Organize Our Toys and Books. Here is our storage. It's got different books inside. We've got toys as well, and some of them are organized, fairly organized, and some of them not so organized. We've got loads of books for different ages and in the drawers as well. We've got um, ones for older kids and ones for younger kids. We've got toys, we've got puzzles. We've got all sorts going on in this cupboard. So, to start rearranging it, what I'm going to do is start from left to right, left to right, and left to right again, and then from top to bottom, as I mentioned earlier, and I'm also going to do them simultaneously. But first, let's pack everything on top of it, and then we'll get into it. I started by arranging the books according to each category. I realized that we've got different books. We've got reading books, we've got notebooks, we've got magazines. So I'm going to place them in different category orders so that it's easy for me when I'm trying to arrange them back into the storage containers. <laughs> Now that I'm done with the first section, I'm going to start cleaning from the top of the shelf and walk my way in into the first place I've emptied. Uh, I like to do this clean as I go because it makes it easier for me so I know I'm done with one section before going to the other. I also like to use wipes because I find it very easy. There's barely anything you can't clean with wipes. <laughs> It's always a good idea to have a bag to hand for you to put in all your rubbish and also you can have another bag for charity for you to put the things you want to take to charity when you've finished organising. <laughs> Now this section is all empty and all cleaned out. Now I'm going to start working my way into reorganizing all those shelves. <laughs> I'm going to use this draw divider to organize our pen, pencils, sharpener, rubbers because we have quite a lot of them and they all seem to be lying about normally in the drawer just by itself. But I find having a draw organizer keeps them more organized and you can always pick what you want quite easily and return them quite easily as well. This comes as a pack of four, but at the moment I'm only going to use the two. I like the fact that they've got different colors. They come in green and pink and a 
two dividers which you can use depending on the length of your pens and pencils at the moment i'm only using one as you can see i've only got um such a small amount of pencil and, and pens so i've had to slant the other ones because it's not just about enough space to use for the pens and they sit nicely in the drawer like this <laughs> As I mentioned earlier, I started by emptying each column from top to bottom, left to right, one section at a time, I mean the whole column. But this second column, I am going to do it slightly different as I want to show the rationale behind it. It's basically, I'm going to be taking one column by emptying it, cleaning it and rearranging it each section at a time rather than doing the whole column at a time. Not your typical Marie Kondo style of cleaning. And the reason being, it's taken a lot longer than I expected. And more importantly, um, if I get interrupted or someone passes me by the bell going off or the kids wanting something to eat, the whole room is not going to be left in a big pile of mess. I also found that working in this measured manner suits me as I'm not overwhelmed and I can start to see results early. So if you find something that suits your cleaning style and you, you can have fun with it, I find that having good music does a lot of good and you can have fun with it. <laughs> birthday cards, a lot of greeting cards. I tend to buy my cards in a book from Amazon, sometimes MS, sometimes a pump shop. It just depends on where I am at the time and when I need one. So I've got quite a few of them left that I'm going to be sorting out. I'll sort them out by Christmas cards, birthday cards, and I find buying them in box makes things a lot easier. If it's someone's birthday, I can always tell the girls to go into the drawer and find a birthday card. Since they're in a book, they come in different ages and different sexes as well. So it's easy to find one you need at different occasions. <laughs> So there you have it, our books are all nicely organised, the ones we don't really use often at the backs and the one we use often, daughters are in the front and here we've got the kids book, I've got them labelled on the 
door so they know whose books are in here. It makes it a lot easier for you to be able to grab what you need and return them according to age. And here we've got loads of puzzles um, that we do play, some board games as well. We've got um, dictionaries in here, a Bible, and a little bit of card games and some electronic stuff. And the last drawers, I've arranged all the pencils, the pen, the pencils and pen, and all the sharpeners and erasers are all nicely put in there. If we go on to the next column, uh, and we'll start from the bottom here, you would see that all the Christmas cards are all in one place, and all our extra pencil cases are in one place as well. So all nicely tucked around the next draw, as I mentioned earlier, they've got um, cards, birthday cards, that's a bit upside down, I'll put it properly, that's all laid down there, it's easy to pick a birthday card and we've got all our board games there again, we've got more toys in here and more things to draw on as well. Um, on top of here, we've got some books that one of my daughter is probably outgrown, but the others can't, my little one cannot use yet, so I've put those ones at the back. And on this drawer here, I've put a label. So before you take out the box, you know what's there, soft toys. I've put all the soft toys in this box. I've actually decluttered and chucked a lot of toys, so it's a lot easier to find what you're looking for and put it back. You can actually know what's in the box before taking it out. And then the next one here is my favorite books that I do read. And also the ones that I don't read much are at the back, especially when it comes to like um, some menu books that I don't really read at the back over there. But the ones that my girls love some uh, fairy tale story books, so those are in front over there. And at the back here we've got more board games basically and some other toys that's in there but the good thing is you can see them quite easily you can see what you're looking for have a play and put them back also here i've got them the toys anything that's moving cars um, snails or anything that really needs batteries really are all in this box and then the next one here I've got bigger toys that don't really fit in much places. Good things, these bins are very big, so they fit in there nicely. Next drawer here has got uh, little manuals and an abacus as well. So if you're looking for a manual for any of the toys, it should be in there and there. Next one here, we've got loads of um, small books, very handy little books in there for my little one. So those ones, they fit in there nicely. Next one here as well, we've got more books. We seem to have quite a lot of books, but it's all good. It's, it's good to read, we enjoy reading. That's the next one up. Next one up is even more books, but I'm glad everything is all nice and neat and clean. Everything is organized. There you have it. This is our spring cleaning for today. Normally I'll do this every year because the kids move up a year in school every summer term. I've done this a little bit earlier this time around simply because of the lockdown. But I would say if you've learned anything, if you've liked anything, click the subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching and see you later.